let's see. Let's talk about yesterday. We, we had a trial by fire of some really, really gusty bad winds yesterday. It was gusting 40 knots when we were leaving Worcester. Uh, so I called George from AeroVenture Institute for some recommendations and he said, it's, it's okay, it's doable. He did it the day before, but make sure that you have your crosswind corrections down. Yay, crosswind. I feel like that's one of those things as a student pilot you don't really worry about too much. Maybe you can vouch for that more than I can. What, for crosswind? Yeah, that you just don't, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel as visceral until you uh, really need it. I mean, where I fly, it's all crosswind. <laughs> so, I'm not a good example for that. I don't think I've ever had a non-crosswind landing, so... But look, they have a nice little run-up area over here. Oh, nice. <laughs> not gonna lie, after yesterday, I'm like... 50% more trusting of you. Aww. <laughs> and I was already at a pretty good percent. Aww. So. That means a lot. It's so pretty! I think Xavier's the one who must have had the, the biggest trust in me yesterday. Alright. <laughs> I, I knew you could do it. There was just this little part of me that was still, like, the pilot in me was like, alright. Keep approach, Warrior 8027 Foxtrot. It's five miles south of Chatham with a request. Number 8026, Foxtrot, keep approach they request. That's 8027, Foxtrot. Uh, would like flight following direct to Nantucket, uh, climbing 3,500 for 4,500. Number 27, Foxtrot, radar contact, squad 5223. 5223. 5223 for 8027, Foxtrot. I already told you guys this today, but there was a news story that uh, a couple of pilots, like commercial pilots out of Boston, at 11 p.m. last night hit a patch of turbulence just like we were hitting, and uh, the cabin crew was injured and sent to the hospital. So it was serious. Yeah, I nearly hit my head a couple yeah. of times yesterday on the, I would love the to ceiling. Know I would love to know what happened. It's a little worse back, like back here when I was back here. They'll probably have the full story out in you know a couple days. Yeah, I'd love to see it. But the the judgment was real. I'm glad we I'm glad we did it. It's you know it's good to know your limits, but you know when we were at Worcester and the tower controller asks you twice to verify you have the right information and then says you, you do know that winds are gusting 40. You know it was luckily right down the runway, so we we went for it. But yeah, and your crosswind component is one off from your max. Yeah. So, you know, casual. Yeah, if, if, if it wasn't coming down the runway, there's no way we would have taken out. Yeah. Wigan 6602 contact approach 118.2. 18 we're going to 6602, good night. And coming up on cruise. Oh, wow. I know, it's right there. Can you guys see it in the back That's seat? a three-hour yeah. ferry? That's ridiculous. Yeah, Nantucket's the further one of the two islands. Yeah. So, do you think we could we could glide there? Or uh, is that a little too far? From here, a little too far. A little too far. Um, but I'll tell you what we do is we choose an altitude that's sufficient so I could turn around and make it back there. That, yeah. that would be the way to go. Which is what I would do past the midpoint today because we have the winds against us on the way over. What's the, the, you know, the ratio to how far you can go depending on how high you up you are? I usually use about 13 to 1 for a warrior. That in miles? I mean, it's, that's the ratio, so it's in whatever you want it to be. Okay. The easy way to do it is miles, because then you can count off for thousands of feet. So 5,280 feet means you can go 13 miles. I know people that will use a more conservative 10 to 1 for if your uh, your prop is not uh, stopped but still windmilling. Yep. Because that does add significant drag. Make it a 27 Fox Truck contact at Nantucket Tower. Over to tower for 27 Fox Truck. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Now I need to get the ATIS. Nantucket Tower, Warrior 8027 Fox Trot's with you uh, at about 15 miles to the north of Formation Charlie. Warrior 8027 Fox Trot, Nantucket Tower, good evening. Continue inbound. The report established on final runway 24. Report the final for 24 for 27 Fox Trot. Picture of the lighthouse. Yep. Oh, just before it disappeared. Just barely got it. 
Get it out on the other side of the wing. Yeah. Oh, cool. I picked up the glide slope already, so I'm going to use that to plant my descent. Um, what are we doing on Nantucket? Huh? Did we figure out what our plan was? To be discussed after landing. Fantastic. That's the best kind this of plan. He's a hi. he's a pilot. I am a pilot. I am almost a pilot. I will be a pilot. Food. I will be cream. soon. Ice cream. Yes. This and is Xavier. That's Emma. Ah. I think I'm this looking at Emma. This is beautiful Nantucket. <laughs> Nantucket. Woo. I want seafood. Can we get lobster? I want a lobster. We'll figure out where we're going. Wait, can we go back and get the like three, four pound lobster that was in the store? Yeah. It's claw was the size of one of the other lobsters. It's claw was the size of your head. It was big. It was a big lobster. Look at this, look at the glide slope just coming in nice and slow. Uh -huh. It's like amazing how precise these it's instruments beautiful. are. This is Oh gorgeous. look, check this out. Oh. Nantucket Tower, Warrior 8027 Fox Trots at the outer marker for 2-4. Warrior 27 Fox Trot, oh. runway 24, clear to land. Clear to land 24 for 27 Fox Trot. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That, right. that tell you when you're in the circle? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, I think, I don't know what the outer marker is because we don't really use them for VFR flying too much, but it might be 5 miles because then the circle would be 4. I see it. it it's like when you're coming up on the, I would assume it's when you're coming up on the circle. Cool. Wait. If you could take a hold of my checklist yep. for me. Fuel pump landing light, come on. Mixture's full rich, carburetor heats off, circuit breakers are all in. Gotta get this out and see I'm landing 2 4. I hope it stays this smooth all the way down there. I, d I doubt it will, but I can hope, right? That would be awesome. It won't. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx it. No. I I swear it's the land. Well. I'm convinced. No, right back to this spot. At least you can tell. Can you tell it's like maybe not even it's like five degrees off the course of the runway? Oh yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, I'm still probably only gonna go like one or two notches of flaps though. Yeah. I don't know if you caught it yesterday at Chatham and the really bad stuff. I did no flaps. Yeah, I saw that. My ins that's one thing my instructor taught all the time was to do like no flap landings just because, you know, you're going to need it someday. And hey, look at that. I, yeah, I needed it. All right, bring the power back, get inside the white arc. One notch flaps. I think I'm going to go two. It feels pretty good down here. It's not too terrible. That's better. Hey, that was nice. Three, two, seven, Foxtrot, turn right at Bravo, contact ground one, three, two, point five. 